This is supposed to be an all tops fix. Hey guys, so I have my monthly fix and I wish I could say that I was super excited about it. Now I know you never know by looking at what they're sending you beforehand you don't know if you're gonna fall in love with it or not, but I already know that it's not what I requested. So will I hate the pieces? Maybe not, hopefully not, but it's not exactly what I requested, so I'm already a little bit bummed. I asked for five tops because I need some layering pieces. It's starting to get warm, and I don't have a lot of like short sleeve or three-quarter length sleeve, lightweight tops to kind of transition into the next season. So is that what's in here no but i'm gonna go ahead and open it and share it with you guys and you guys can let me know what you think about what my stylist sent me this month okay so a little bit of talk about stitch fix if you guys do not know what stitch fix is it's not necessarily a subscription company because you can get these whenever you want you could just get one to try and then you could say no i don't want any more you can sign up for it monthly like i do you can even get it more than once a month if you guys love getting new clothes um also there is a 20 dollars 20 dollar styling fee but shipping is free to and from so if there's anything i don't like in here i can put it in this bag drop it off and it doesn't cost me a thing to return these items the $20 styling fee, if you do purchase anything, that gets credited. Also, if you purchase all five things, because each box comes with five things for you, you get a discount of 25%. So, speaking of five things, let's see my five things. First up is some jewelry, which I didn't request jewelry because I don't wear a lot of jewelry. Um, do I buy jewelry occasionally? Yes, but... I'm going to try not to be all ranting like in this video. So let's just look at this piece of jewelry. I do love their boxing. Super cute. Oh, this is very nice and dainty. So do I need it? No, but I do like it. So this is a bracelet. It's got the label on the back here. Bancroft Callan Hinge Bracelet in Silver. So the hinge means you just like a clasp. You just open it to put it on your wrist. I do like how small it is because I do not wear a lot of like oversized jewelry. I rarely wear bracelets, but I think this is just small enough to spice up my outfit every now and then. Then we've got my bundle. Okay, first piece is a top, so that's awesome. This is really cute. I love the coloring on it, the red, white, and blue. Perfect for the upcoming holidays um, and the spring, I think. Like it's very lightweight i haven't had a lot of luck with these types of tops i don't have any of these pinned um, because i am bigger chested that full-on buttons don't go over very well so we shall see this is called the tinsel hattie button down top the color is it says pink oh okay that's not red that's pink so it's pink and blue um, and i am a size extra large so I will give this a try. Last year I did request one of these tops several times to see if I could find one that would work, but no luck. So maybe this will be the one. Next up, another top. That's good. This is really pretty. Uh, it seems a little form fitting, so we'll see. I don't really like, I definitely have a mommy belly and I am, you know, overweight. Um, so I don't like a lot of tops that are tight. It is three quarter. So that's nice. I really do like the color. I think it's really pretty. It's this wine red color. So look at the front. It looks very plain, but when you turn it around, I love the polka dots on the back. It is a high low, so it's a little bit shorter in the front and longer in the back. I wonder if it's long enough to wear this over leggings. We shall see. So this is by Paper Moon, the Marisol Mixed Material Three Quarter Sleeve Knit Top in Burgundy. Next up, another top. So that's three out of five. Um, this one is definitely a sweater, which I wasn't really, actually, I think I have this sweater on my Pinterest board, but I asked for lightweight clothes, so I don't know if I really need something um, that's for colder weather, because even though it's a little bit cold here now, it is going to be hot in no time because I am in Texas. Um, but this one is super cute, and maybe if I love it enough, I'll save it for 
um, those few cold days that we have and for next year, but it's really pretty. So I think it's black. I'm pretty sure this is black. The black and cream striped sweater. It does feel really comfy and it's not too thick, but this is what I love. I've had this on my Pinterest board forever and of course I get it sent to me when winter is ending. But I love the elbow patch and it is in this really pretty like camel suede material. So this one is the Renee C. Aubrey striped elbow patch pullover in off white. All right, you guys. And then this is what I was, I mean, I was a little bit disappointed about the bracelet and the pants because I really wanted to purchase five new tops for my wardrobe because that's what I need is tops. Um, but I do not want or need black pants because I'm a stay at home mom. I have two dogs, two labs that shed and I just, I cannot wear black. It's just too, I don't know. Maybe if I fall in love with these, I'll keep them. Um, for like date night or if I'm going out of the house and I'm not spending a lot of time indoors. But I was just disappointed about the black pants because I've never really asked for these pants and I don't need pants, I don't know. Maybe I can talk myself into it if I like everything, we shall see. But these are nice and they're not distressed which is nice because I have enough distressed pants um, and they feel like they are very stretchy which is really good, I love the stretchy pants. Um, and let's see what these are, the Goss. Vigos, not sure how you pronounce that. Erica Distressed Skinny Jean in black. Um, oh, are they just, oh, they are distressed. I just couldn't tell. Very lightly distressed. The distressing is just up here by the pockets. I don't even know if you can see that because I missed it at first. So the distressing is just up there. It's nowhere else. No distressing down the leg or on the back. I do like that the buttons on it are black too. So it looks like just a nice clean line black pant. So we are gonna try these things on and see what we think. Okay, so button wise, this is not too bad. I'm not sure, like this is something again that I requested several times last year because I just wanted to try it. It's not necessarily my style, but I do like it. It's very comfortable, it's not too tight. Um, and I always get wary about the buttons, but this one I feel like is big enough and I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. I probably say that all the time, but if I were to lose a little bit more weight, I feel like it would be even better um, because it does separate just a little bit, but not too bad. I love the length. It's definitely long enough in the back to where if I knew I was just staying at home, I could wear it with leggings. These jeans are a little bit on the tight side, but I have a pair of pants that are this brand and they do loosen up a little bit. Um, I did just pair it with some sandals because that's what I wear all the time from here on out unless it's super, super cold. So I do like the shirt. Let me know what you guys think though. Just um, if you guys have seen me in videos, you kind of know my, my style and I definitely do not own anything like this. So it would be a little bit out of my comfort zone, but let me know what you guys think and I will give you a closer look at the pants. All right, so here's the pants. Again, I just have it on with some sandals because that is what I live in after winter until winter comes again. Um, like I said, they are a little bit on the tight side, um, but they're stretchy, so there is quite a bit of give there, which is nice. Um, and again, I did not even know that they were distressed because the distressing is just right here. It's nowhere else. So like with this shirt, I have a tank top on and then this one, it totally covers up the distressing. So you really can't tell at all. So talk me in to keeping these as long as the other two shirts work out and then this box can be a five for five. So I'm just gonna keep the pants on while I try on the other two shirts. Um, this one is a little bit sheer, so I kept the little cream tank top that I have on underneath. And I did, I, I thought that it would be a little bit form fitting, so we'll see. I do have those like um, tummy sucker panties that I could wear with this shirt if I wanted to, just because I'm not a huge fan of my mommy, and I, I say mommy gut, my food gut. Um, but I do love the detail on this shirt, and it is very, very comfortable. That's one thing I have to give props to Stitch Fix. All of their clothes are very comfortable, and the material feels fabulous on my skin. So let me know what you guys think about this shirt. Um, I do like the color. 
I don't think it is strictly a like fall and winter color. I feel like I could probably get away with wearing this a little bit longer and the fact that it's not long sleeves is definitely good and it's lightweight. So I'm gonna have to give this one a little bit more thought. Okay, last top and this one is form fitting as well, but I think the pants are a little bit tight. Like the more I change, I'm like, all right, these pants are really tight. I'm trying to wear them to see if they loosen up. Um, I know I could probably check and see if they have a bigger size, but it's definitely tight enough to where it is pushing my stomach out more than it normally is. But I do love this. It is super comfortable. I love the little patch detail. Um, and it's not, I do still have the tank top on, but it's not um, see-through at all. So I don't need the tank top. I just kept it on. So, I mean, this kind of shirt is supposed to be more form-fitting and comfortable and not loosey-goosey. Um, so, and I do love, like, I love the sleeves that do this, but for winter time, not necessarily for when spring is on the horizon. So, I don't know. I kind of just want to, I'm thrown be between keeping one, maybe the uh, first top, uh, and sending the rest back. I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so since I tried everything on, let's read the note, look at the style cards, because I do like how they give you different options to style these pieces. Um, so here are the style cards, and of course you don't really get anything for, um, or it's on this side for jewelry, because you can wear that with anything. And my note says, happy fixed day, Vanessa. I hope you're having a great month of February so far. We're so excited to continue styling you at Stitch Fix, and I chose some versatile tops for you to have fun with. Let's start you off with these Vigos or Vigos skinny jeans. These are a fantastic staple to add to your casual wardrobe, and they'll pair nicely with this striped top by Renee C. Add a pair of black booties and a colorful handbag, then pull the look together with this Bancroft silver bracelet. You can also pair the pants with this tinsel plaid top and sandals once the weather begins to warm up. Do you have any special occasions coming up that you'd like to see pieces for next time? Check out your style cards for more inspiration and have fun trying everything on. We can't wait to hear your feedback and style you again soon. Cheers, Rachel. So that's really cute. I love how she, you know, tried to take that I wanted tops and put an outfit together for me, but I really just wanted tops. So let's go over the prices, see what the damage is. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and make my decision. I think I already know what my decision is and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so the jeans are $68. The elbow patch sweater is $54. The bracelet is $28. The paper moon, okay, the mixed material top with the polka dot material on the back was $38. And the button down uh, plaid top was $44. So the subtotal was $232. Um, and then the buy all discount of 25% takes off $58. Um, so I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. I think I'm just not in love with any of them, but I do like this top. So I think this is going to be the first time in a really long time. Actually, I don't know if I've ever just kept one piece. I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep this one and send everything else back. I'm just, I don't feel like I would wear the rest of the pieces within the next few months. Now, maybe um, after summer when it starts, or after fall, really, the end of fall, early winter, this coming year, the next, or not this coming year, but at the end of this year, the new seasons, Maybe I would wear the other clothes more often. Um, I just, I don't know. I think I would definitely wear this a few times. I like this. And I could wear it with a tank top under it and a knot button just open as a layering piece in the late spring and early summers as long as it's not like just heat, heat, heat outside. So I think, yep, this is probably the first time that I've ever made a decision with you guys and you guys don't have to ask me, what did you end up keeping? I'm just gonna keep this one. I'm sending everything back. Um, and that way I do not lose my styling fee and I feel like I would have kept this anyway even if I lost it or not because I have been looking for one of these for a while and I feel like this one does fit me pretty well and I love I kind of like now I can really see the pink that it's not red I love the pink and the blue together so all right if you guys love watching me unbox and try on my stitch fix each month give this video a big thumbs up not every month is a five for five 
That would be awesome if it was. Not awesome for my bank account, but awesome for me. Um, but I got one shirt out of it, so that's awesome. If you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I do get a stitch fix once a month, but I try to upload a video every single day. So check out all the other things I have to offer, and I will see you guys tomorrow in a new one. Bye.